Chat, I got y'all. Just follow me right here, okay? Take one second and follow us, okay? Sharp Takeover has a shot meter on it, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like you know if a person shooting really has that skill with the takeover. He has a sh shot meter on it, right? Follow me, follow me. Shot creating takeover. Also has a meter on it, right? You shoot your fadeaways from wherever you want, but you got to green it up. You can still miss those, right? You can tell that wasn't a green release. That wasn't a perfect release. Playmaking takeover. There's a stamina bar, and you got a shot clock, but you know what I'm going with this. You know what I'm saying? There's something to govern that. You know what I'm saying? The playmaking takeover. Lot takeover. Where is the... How do you govern that? How do you know, okay, this was a perfect release? How do you know there was a, a perfect hack? Or where? how do you know this was a perfect attempt for a steal? There we go. How do you know there's a perfect attempt for a steal? And that's what we need in 2K21. For my 2K wish list, I'm proposing something that's extremely simple. Uh, I want to add a meter that we can call an opportunity meter. And basically the opportunity meter would be a defender, a lock defender, or someone with lock takeover opportunity that they can get, make a play on a ball. Whether it's steals, or rather it's uh, interceptions, uh, rather it's blocks. I would like the opportunity meter to kind of go back and forth. While they have the takeover, uh, the meter being wider, depending on how good the uh, window of opportunity is, that would depend on like badges and stuff like that. And it depends on what position is the guard. You'll be better at making on ball plays so far as steals and things like that. Opposed to if you are a big, like power forward center, you'll do better at getting blocks at the rim. And uh, interceptor would kind of be something that's kind of weighed in the middle, depending on arm length and all of the above. Uh, I always felt like the lock, that lockdown takeover, it was never governed by anything. And I feel like there's so much opportunity for us to grow so far as character development and being more realistic with our players, our creative players. Uh, that being a lock, and, I'm, this, and this is my opinion also on being a lock, you're the best lock just depending on how well you smash square. There, if you're not smashing square all the time as a lock, then you're, there's no point of being a lock. But with that being said, in 2K21, I would like to see us put some type of parameter on that so we can, all, the way they talk about shooters, oh, you're not a good shooter, you miss what they go. I would like to say, hey, even with your opportunity badge, you're not getting steals. Or even with your opportunity meter on, you're not making plays for me. Um, things that would be pros and cons, the first pro that came in my mind immediately, um, that there's multiple animations in the game where where you barely get steals and uh, things like that can be on opportunity meter. Uh, so far as, let's say, I don't want to call it like a green, but a perfect steal opportunity that you press square on time to make that play. It can be a clean steal. Just flat out clean steal. The ball is gone. It's yours. Well, let's say that it's in our shooting phrase, it's a full white or in on opportunity move, opportunity meter, it's really, really close. But maybe you can get like a steal animation where both players can still make a play on the ball. Uh, that opportunity meter also can be a way to justify things that we just cannot understand. For example, uh, things like um, when there are technical fouls. There's no if and or why we get technical fouls. We put, we pray, we we hit the the same button, the same score button, and sometimes we just get technical fouls. Well, on that opportunity meter, what if you are so far out? What if you are so far away from on the meter? It is horrible, a horrible opportunity chance you took right here. And because it's horrible, you get a technical foul for it. Uh, that could be a way to uh, put that in that same bubble and make it make sense. So that can be something good we can use that for as uh, in something that's in 2K already. And we can make it all make sense. Um, and also with that being said here, badges. Now, you don't want your guard... And I guess just for this demonstration, we'll call him like a perimeter lockdown. You know, or, or a, uh, we'll call him like a, a, a clamp guy or something, whatever you will call like a guard, a Gary Payton type build. You wouldn't want that guy to have the same badges available to him at Shaq. 
Why? Because Gary Payton can't do the same thing Shaq can do. Those two great defensive players, but when it comes down to it, a center cannot play on-ball defense. Yes, a center cannot play on-ball defense. Why? Well, watch and find out. Shots. Yow's night was an all-fun in games here in the third. He guards Stephon Marbury. Marbury shakes him to the ground. and uh... That's why. Yes. Everything Yow was good for. Nobody ever said, oh, my God, he was an amazing on-ball uh, defender. So that's something we got to take into consideration. You know, these seven-foot centers, yeah, they're going to be perfect in protecting the rim, but on-ball defense, they will not. So things like clamps, they shouldn't have available to them, you know. That shouldn't be available to them. You should never see a center on ball. So that's something that shouldn't be available to them. Uh, things like pickpocket, that shouldn't be available to a center. And with that being said, things like post move lockup shouldn't be available to a lockdown guard or whatever we, the clamp guy, I think we called it. Um, and worm shouldn't be available to that guard who playing that lockdown role. So it's stuff like that, I feel like we should take into consideration for 2K21. And I know, I know, I know, I know this sounds crazy. But uh, so far as next gen and PS5, we want more so far as what our characters can do, more realistic. Because now we have that 6'8 point guard, we want back our 6'8, well, 6'8, 6'10 small forwards that can shoot, dribble, and all the above. Because we do have players in the NBA that are like that. But with that being said, there's an upside and there's a downside. I understand that. So maybe we should implement more things to do with stamina. Uh, yeah, you can have KD who can dunk, dribble, but he should be slower. And I only should he be slower because park games are faster. Maybe you can take more hits to your stamina. And when I mean more hits to your stamina, that you will lose more stamina through the course of the game depending on shots, uh, steals, and things of that magnitude that you will normally go through through the course of a game. Uh, everything you do should be affected some way, some course of the game. That way, it keeps the game. It's a balance in the game. Balance in the game. Like Thor. Balance in the game. Thor. Not Thor. Oh, my God. I mean, Thanos. Perfect balance. Perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be. Keep everything in perfect balance balance and from a creator standpoint somebody who made a developer standpoint someone who made the game you can do your best to keep the cheese out but as players play they're gonna find a the cheese they just do it they do it every year but something something we can do is add little things like this in the game that will at least uh, make it as far as possible don't and keep on keep this in mind that people in the uh nba league Play this game also. So uh, all the dribble cheese, the dribble glitches and whatnot that I put in the game, they're also acceptable to people in the NBA league. And I watch a lot of that stuff. And I don't understand a lot of things so far as character makeup, why it don't make sense. I feel like you should be able to make whatever build you want to make so far as you want to make stuff, make stuff. It's up to the developers to make it all make sense. To come up with those, okay, this is why this person can be stopped. This is how this person can be stopped. And, and in real life, there are ways for them people to be stopped. You know, so um, I'm going to leave that up to y'all. Um, that's all for me. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, PS4, John Gotti, man. If you haven't, take a second and hit that like and that follow button. If you agree to disagree with what I said, let me know in the comment below. Um, this is just something that's been on my mind forever. I mean, I mean, for the last two, three years. So when I made my wish list, I made, I wanted to be exactly specific to the whole lockdown situation because it's absolutely unfair in my mind that, hey, a lock, no type of meter at all, and they can spam square away. You let me know if you agree or disagree. It's your boy, Double Salutes, the mob, gang, gang, gang. Big Timmy on the building. You know what time it is. Gang.